Hi, Chrissy Green here with another photography editing tutorial for uh, the Facebook group Photography for Beginners. Uh, this one is specifically for the editing group today. Uh, somebody asked me yesterday when I was going to be posting some kind of summary fantasy edit in my own particular style, uh, so I thought I'd make a little video tutorial. And I'm actually going to turn this one into a really fun challenge for you guys. Uh, let's see how many of you want to play along. It's so easy and uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, and it's perfect if you happen to be a lazy editor the way I am. Uh, some of my pictures, yeah, they can take a couple of days to finish from start to finish. Um, but sometimes I want to have a little bit of fun editing without investing too much time. So I'm going to share with you my big cheat which is pre-cut PNG files. They are, are places on the on the internet where you can find these things. They're free. There is no attribution required or no royalty fees involved if you know where to look. And they are a super fast way to punch up your photography. And I tend to go a little overboard with mine. Um, and you don't have to. Um, but sometimes even something as simple as putting a little PNG flower in uh, your subject's hair or a tiny butterfly in the background uh, can take your picture from great to really great. And it requires nothing more than a couple of clicks. Um, so anyway, without further ado, here's what I'm going to do today. I have this picture of my daughter and it's from a recent photo shoot that we did. Um, I mean, as you can see, she's looking in the wrong way. In the wrong direction. Um, my angle was off a little bit. It, this was just one of my little lighting test shots. I told her to go dance for me. Um, I just wanted to make sure I was getting a nice white backdrop and this is what I ended up with. It, it's a throwaway image but I don't throw anything away. So I'm going to turn this image into something fun for spring. So I've sent it over to Photoshop. Here's my image here. Um, in my head I have a rough idea of what I'm going to do and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is prepare this file for that edit. I want to keep the white background and still build a little world around here which I don't know how it's going to look in the end. Um, this may be a hit or a miss. I'm experimenting with you here. Um, but I know that I am going to want to make her standing in grass even though I'm keeping the white backdrop. So in order for me to do that convincingly, um, I do need to cut her out quite precisely down here around her feet. Um, probably maybe midway up the dress. And I'm still being pretty lazy. I'm keeping the white background specifically because I don't feel like dealing with this messy hair up here. I love the messy hair. Every single strand I want to keep in this image. Um, and I do love the way she looks on white. But, but yeah, I'm not dealing with it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to cut her out from the waist below. I'm going to leave everything else up there. And I'm going to flip this. I'm going to copy this side of my backdrop, flip it, and place it over here to cover that. Um, and then I'm going to have a prepared file for you. So because nobody wants to watch me awkwardly cut out a toddler, I am going to do all of those things and then I will be back in a minute and we are going to build our little image and then I will explain to you what the fun challenge is going to be. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Uh, as you can see, not a lot has changed. I did replace that background that was missing on the side, left hand side, sorry. And I did move her a little bit to the right just for... Um, a better composition overall instead of her being centered in the image. Now in my mind for this image I'm going to have her standing in grass looking at a flower. Um, I thought it might be cute if she was hiding behind a tree. That may sound like an awful lot of editing to do but because the internet is chock full of amazing PNG files it's really really super easy. So this is our challenge today. I want you guys, if you're up for the challenge, to find an image that uh, you feel could use some punching up and then join me on these two sites that I'm going to show you and see if you can find some pre-cut PNG files that you can use to punch them up and post them in the comments. And we're going to take a look and see what everybody was able to come up with. 
So the first site is Pixabay. It is the first site that I always go to. I absolutely love Pixabay. Um, and I, I'm confident when I go to Pixabay that when I find an image to use, I'm not going to run into any kind of copyright issues. So if you go to Pixabay, primarily it's a photo stock uh, site. But if you just type PNG in the search bar, you get about 20 pages of pre-cut files. Most of them are really high quality files. Whenever you click on an image, if you see this checkerboard pattern in the background, that means your download is going to have transparent um, everywhere that you see those. So all of this bicycle has been cut out. How amazing is it that you can just pop in this adorable bicycle into any of your pictures and it will look like it belongs there. Um, so that's what I did. I started off at Pixabay. I found a tree here. I'll never find it. There's 20 pages here that you can go through um, that I thought would look super cute. Uh, so I downloaded that and it's just as easy as clicking the download button the other site that we're going to look at is freepngimg.com and it's a slower site for loading. I, I found I had to wait for it a little bit, um, but you can find all kinds of things. And I found this beautiful sunflower here that I'm going to use. And I also found the grass file that I'll be using in this. So all you really need to do is just download and it is going to put it into your downloads folder if it doesn't prompt you on where to put it and as you can see it's loading down here and it's so super simple I'm just going to say show in folder and that is going to open up my image and it's already going to be ready for me to take I will click and drag it and then I can drop it into my Photoshop file Boom. Now I want to make sure I line it up with her eyes to the best of my ability. There we go. So I've already downloaded the files that I'm going to be placing in this image and uh, hopefully this won't take me too long. So where is my tree? I did download this adorable tree. It's an adorable tree. I love this tree. It's uh, going to go right here. I kind of want it to look like she's sort of peeking out from behind this one lonely tree. And I'm also going to need a grass file, which I also got from PNG IMG. And there we go. Way too huge. I'm going to minimize that by a lot. There we go. And I think I wanted a ladybug too. So I will search ladybug. The image doesn't really need a ladybug. I just kind of wanted to add in that little extra pop of color. Nice bright red ladybug I thought would be really cute. There we go. So I will download this ladybug. It's not the highest resolution ladybug, but it's going to be so small in the image that that is okay for this time. And like that. I'm going to drop that here. Something along those lines. Alright, so I'm pretty much out of time for this video. I am going to assemble this in a wonderful, charming, adorable way, but I'm going to do that in the next video. In the meantime, feel free to browse those two sites, PNG IMG, uh, also Pixabay, do a search for PNG, and then see what you can do with some images. And then we're going to post them all in the comments. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Join me in the next video where I show you how I'm going to assemble this and create an entire world out of just these four downloads. Thanks. Bye-bye.